Hello, Tarion and Frost here, back again for another episode of Pokemon Conquest. Now, I got teams A, B, and C situated. Team A is here with Eevee, Jigglypuff, uh, Girder, uh, Glade, uh, Darumaka, and Primplup. Team B, if I can press the right button. Team B is over here with Luxio, uh, Rhyperior, Staravia, uh, Scraggy, Charmander, and Wooper. Then Team C is right here with Mareep, Rhyhorn, Drillbur, Charmander, uh, and those two bug Pokemon at the end. Now, obviously, some, not all the teams are going to be even. Not all of them are going to have the best uh, stats, and they will probably change as time goes on. But I decided to go with Pokemon that have good links over typings for now because all of them have at least 70% link which is what I really wanted to care about uh, and I might change up teams A, B, and C in the future but this is what we got now we can go after Avia, uh, Viperia, Yaksha, and Cragspur. I want to go after Cragspur first I'm thinking either Craig, I might go after uh, Yaksha. Honestly, I might Yaksha's Dark One. So honestly, the fighting type girder would be amazing for it. It's just we're a little under leveled. Because they're 1523, we're 1456, so it's not much. You know, and Print Club would be able to help. Uh, Delayed would help with the Zubat. It's just a lot of dark types. You know. So I'm going to go after that. Then put Team C over here. So we have a choke point. You know. Because I don't want to have. Like move here. Then move this team somewhere else. But. You know what. No. Let's go after Cragspur. Let's go after Cragspur. So they team seem to be rock types. Most of the warriors in Cragspur have rock type Pokemon for partners. Water type, grass type, and fighting type attacks are strong against rock type Pokemon. But fire types and bug types are pretty useless. Normal type Pokemon attacks aren't very effective either. Okay. So let's go. I, I'm forced to bring you two. I don't want to bring you. I want to bring you, and I want to bring you for sure. I feel like I shouldn't bring you. Let's call in reinforcements. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. We just uh, went up to 15 something. We're doing great. We're doing great. The Kingdom of Cragspur. So you are Frost. The one who has captured all those castles in the west. Half of Ranse is already yours. What are you gonna do next? Too much ambition can be pretty dangerous, you know. This isn't ambition. Quiet you. We don't have time to listen to your silly excuses. That's right. I have things to do. Let's get this settled. So I'm trying to give him like that a uh, uh, smoker type of like voice that like scraggly like spoken for like a hundred years type of voice, you know. So we got a killer team here. Power of 1530A. We're over 200 points stronger. So, okay. I'm looking at team composition. So I'm thinking, uh, I don't want Glade to go over here for the Machop. I'm gonna have you actually step on the button, lower the walls down, uh, or the doors, I should say. 
Then, like I said, what's your warrior ability? Oh, okay. I'm gonna have you go over here. Uh, you are gonna do great over here, both of you. I'm gonna have you go right there, and I'll have you go right there. Then I'm gonna have you go up here with you. Then I'm just gonna have you go right here, I think. I should probably have someone go with Glade, in all honesty. I might have Printlop end up going with Glade, just to be safe. I might. That's not gonna do anything. No effect at all. Because I know Glade can easily take care of the matchup. But it's not going to be able to... I, it may not be able to take care of the uh, uh, Larvitar. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's ground rock round. Never mind. Okay. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have you go here. Wait, what can you do? You can actually go right here. Nope, nope. If I can press the right buttons. I'm going to have you go right here. And I'm going to have you attack. Uh, I'm hoping this is a crit. Or at least enough to take you out. Not enough to take you out. Okay. And yeah, I think I am going to have you go... You know, no. Let me see how much you can do first. I'm going to have you just go up here. Can't really do much yet. That's alright. That's alright. I'm going to have you attack you, which should easily take out the match up. Which honestly is amazing. So close. So close. Uh, I'm gonna have you take care of the uh, rock and roller. Which is gonna set the rock to come tumbling down on both Girder and Primplope. But, but that's fine, at least we get rid of one of their Pokemon. You know. Hopefully it doesn't do too much. Okay, it does not do a, a whole bunch. Uh, I'm gonna have Eevee just go over here. Well, wait, what's... Okay, yeah. I'm gonna have you go right there. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Eevee's not gonna do much. I know there's an Ice Kingdom later in the game where I need to... where I... I'm able to evolve Eevee into Glaceon there. I'm just waiting to get there so I can evolve Eevee into a Glaceon, you know? Like, I have to look up some of these uh, specific ways to level up or evolve, you know? But it shouldn't be too difficult to evolve Eevee into Glaceon there. Really? Okay. Just going right past Kalade. Uh, I, I think I'm going to have one of you two go after the Bulldore and the other go after the uh, Onyx. Rock Tomb. Ooh, oh, that was a crit on the ranged priest. That sucks. I love the smell of the battlefield. With this battle, Glade, I will... With this battle, Glade and I will put the world to rights. Okay. Good for you. Good for you. Let's see. Okay, please hit. I saw the 80%. Please hit. Come on. Come on. Yeah, 240 damage. 
insane. Man. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have you go after the Onyx. That's 107 damage. That should be more than enough to take out the Onyx. You know, as long as we hit, and we hit that 117 damage. That's more than enough. And they only have three Pokemon left. Now, how much will this do? You know what? Let's go ahead and use your warrior ability. Use your warrior ability to increase the attack. And let's see how much this will do. As long as we hit, we should take you out. Sturdy. Oh, come on, man. Uh, let me use your warrior ability. Let me use your warrior ability. Would we be able to... We can actually take you out right now. Like, as long as we hit, we take you out. Poor Eevee. Quick, and, quick attacking a, uh, a boulder. That can't be fun. Celebrate happens. We can move again. Just gonna go here, grab that. It's a potion. Okay. Let's go ahead and attack and get rid of the match hop. Or the match hop, however you want to say it. Easily get rid of the ma match hop. And yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm just gonna leave it there. I just noticed it says Nobunaga's army. Yeah, bro. Like up at the top where both of our uh, images are, it says Nobunaga's army. Bro. And I'll have you go there. Have you move as much as you can over here. Can't fight, obviously, but, you know, you can move. And I'll have you go right over here. And then, let's go ahead. Have you attack. It's only 40 damage. But that's still within three turns of winning, basically, you know? Uh, then I'll have that be the end of my turn. Have you go there. I'm gonna have you attack the rock. Just get rid of the rock. So that way, uh, we can have Rhyperior move through that space next turn if we need him. I'm gonna have you attack. That's 44 damage now, saying, which is an improvement. 48 damage. That's not bad at all. Uh, I'll have you move right there. I'll have Girder. I'm gonna have Girder try and get that uh, prize box there. Uh, then I'll end. I'll end my turn. Like, no matter what, this next turn is gonna be the uh, last turn. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I've never used a Tyranitar in this game. I think it would be quite a bit of fun to use a Tyranitar. And yeah, so I might try to get a Tyranitar. Like, instead of sticking with uh, Rhyperior, I might try to use a Tyranitar. Because I feel like a Rock and Dark type would be insane. You know? And there's not a lot of pseudo-legendaries in this game to begin with. But yeah, we rocked this out. And of course, since they are all under one umbrella, similar to all of the kingdoms I have, we can't recruit any of the members of their team. Oh, we lost again. First Nobunaga, now this. Maybe I'm getting old. Okay, it looks like I don't have a choice. This castle is yours, Frost. 
But what will you do? We belong to Nobunaga's army. Now that our castle's gone, we've got to go back to him. I don't much like that Nobunaga, but I can't see any other way. See you, Frost. I hope one day you become strong enough to... Okay. We just conquered Cragspur. Our power is now 1615. That's quite insane. Hey, it's you again. How's everything going? Wait. Something's changed. You're right, Lord Frost has transformed. I knew it. Well, that's good news. Here, let me give you a little something to celebrate. Firestone, Waterstone, and Thunderstone. Okay. If you're if you go into battle after giving one of the one of those to a certain Pokemon, like your little Eevee, you might just see something pretty special. Each stone will lead to a different result, but your little Pokemon might just evolve. Okay. Think about it, and use them wisely. You know, you're really... You really are looking pretty impressive these days. I don't think you'll be needing any more advice from me. In fact, I'd better be off. See you around. Okay. I am going to save, and I'm going to move some Pokemon around. Just make sure no one can attack any of my kingdoms, right? So right now we have a Chokehold. Like right here, I just got to move. Uh, I'll go ahead and move Darumaka. Let's move Darumaka over to Illusio. I'm going to move Darumaka back a little bit. I just want to make sure I have enough people here, so... No, not yet, not yet. And then I'm going to march all of you. Yes, all of you. Over here. Uh, then I think I'm going to move the two that are here in Ignis. I'm going to march both of you over to Pugilus. I think I'm going to move the three from Aurora there as well. Yeah, I'm going to move you three there as well. Because at least with Pugilus, I know I can get some, like, gold or money out of it. There's not really much I can do elsewhere with them specifically. We're going to develop. And we're going to develop here too. Then, let's go to the next month. And I think... Oh, what? We, oh, we got a Tepig! Hey, Hideaki. That's cool. Man, I have to change that at some point. Like, I'll probably be able to make another, like, team, a D team at some point. Then the reason we're having so many kingdoms get money right now is because there is a traveling merchant that will allow us to buy stones and evil evolution items, like a moonstone for a Jigglypuff. Right, and I want to be able to evolve my Pokemon, but that's it. That's the end of today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay frosty, my friends.